Hello guys, welcome to this video. Uh, in this video, I'll be talking about the pollen tube and fertilization. This is under sexual reproduction in flowering plants. Now, we've been looking at pollination. Now, after pollination, what follows is fertilization. Now, this is a pollen tube. It's just a structure of a pollen tube, but if you've got notes, see, I'm sure uh, my notes are very simplified and easy to follow. This is a pollen tube. Now, what happens during pollination is that uh, the pollen moves from the uh, anther to the stigma, which is, let me draw it by that. So that's our pollen. Okay. So once the pollen reaches that top of the stigma, what happens? It has to travel now here in the pollen tube. Okay. So this space that we're seeing there is what we call the pollen tube. Okay. Now, after pollination, what happens is that the same pollen grain, which is here, it will now, for it to move properly here, it has to absorb what? Water. So, the pollen first absorbs water. But it becomes moist so that it can easily move here. Now, once it's swollen with water, then the pollen tube, which you, uh, the pollen tube nucleus, which is the tube nucleus, it is starts to germinate to form a pollen tube. What, are, what am I talking about? Inside uh, this pollen tube, right? The same pollen tube up to here. We have this part, the outer, the outer part called the ovary. And uh, this middle part here is called the ovule. Okay. Then we've got the male... Uh, and the female nuclei inside there. Uh, they are somewhere there. Okay. So these two here, they are called the male nuclei. Then inside here, we have uh, the egg cell, which is usually for the female part. Now, when the pollen, when the pollen tube here, it gains water, it, it becomes moist. What happens is that this pollen tube uh, begins to get formed, so that this tube, uh, this pollen can now pass through direct there, and until it meets somewhere there. Um, uh, this uh, to form the pollen tube, what happens is that the ovary, sorry, uh, to, to form the uh, the the pollen tube, which we are, we are saying is, is there. Um, the pollen tube nucleus secretes the enzyme. Now that enzyme, it only breaks part of the stigma. Now I'm sure you are able to see the stigma that it is just the upper part there. So in order for this thing to be formed, what happens is that the nucleus, which is found, the nucleus of the pollen tube, it secretes an enzyme which the, which breaks part just the tip part there of the stigma. Now, once that happens, uh, the star and the ovary are also broken, what? Broken down. From the notes, I'm sure you are able to tell where the star and the ovary are, what? Ah, the star um, is just this part here. Okay, wow, well, the ovary is that. So, Part of the ovary is broken down and the, the stigma also the, the star. Now once that thing is, is, is done, now uh, the nucleus starts to grow towards the ovule. Remember we have got the ovule here. So that nucleus will begin to grow now towards the what? It is now coming towards the what? The ovule. Now, this is a... Uh, now, since the movement of this nuclei that has been formed towards the ovule is guided by chemicals, okay? It's guided by what? Chemicals. We call this positive chemotropism. We call this positive chemo chemotropism. Now, once it reaches the macro power, I'm sure you're able to tell where the macro power is. The macro power is just somewhere here where the macro power is. Now, once that same nuclei reaches the what? The macro power, what happens? The, new, the tube nucleus disintegrates. It breaks down in short. Eh? Now, once that uh, uh, disintegrates, a new, a new nucleus is formed. 
Once that new nucleus is formed, the new nucleus divides into two haploid and uh, two haploid cells. Haploid cells means these that have got a single, a singular what, nucleus. Now, the type of fertilization where one male nucleus fuses with the egg to form a diploid zygote and the other male nucleus fuses with two polar nuclei to form a tripoid is what we call double fertilization. Now, from the, from the notes, please, if you could not visit them, we've got it. Uh, from the notes, we have the male nucleus. Okay. Now, when the male nucleus fuses with the egg, so plus egg, one male nucleus, one egg, this forms a diploid zygote. This is fertilization. Again, they are saying, since there are two male nuclei, the other male nuclei again, fuses with two polar nuclei. We're able to see them from the diagram there. This forms what a tripod, triploid, sorry, uh, zygote. Since we have two types of fertilization occurring at the same time, this is what we call double fertilization. So in case asked to define what double fertilization is, it is just the type of fertilization where one male nuclei or nucleus fuses with one egg to form a diploid zygote and one the other male nuclei fuses with, with two polar nuclei to form tripoid what, cell or zygote. Simple as that. Now after fertilization, what happens? The ovule develops into a seed. This question comes. What develops into a seed is actually the what? The ovule. So once fertilization is done, there must be a product. That product is what we call what? A seed. Now a seed comes from an ovule. And where does a fruit come from? A fruit comes from an ovary. So must be able to do the, the, the differences. Ovule develops into a seed ovary developed develops into a effort so thank you so much for watching this video i hope it is clear on the pollen tube and the fertilization in a pollen tube i'll see you in the next video